Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and this time I've got kind of a new ROM. Uh, this one is called AOSB which stands for Android Open Source BAM which is uh, it's not actually a really new ROM. It's was it was called the ProBAM series of ROM which was an awesome awesome really great ROM uh, to have which is based on AOSB. Now um, the changes do include uh, this one there are a lot of changes which are in the AOSB ROMs so we'll get into it now so this is the standard uh, KitKat lock screen with uh, the sliders so that's pretty cool now the launcher here is not the Google experience launcher you can see the AOSB uh, logo is there so it is real AOSB feature so uh, as I was saying the launcher was the is the light launcher which is which comes with the Cyanogen mod ROM so you won't have the swipe for Google now feature in that one so let's get into the settings menu as you can see the settings icon is actually a bit of change so that is a specific ROM specific uh, setting icon so in the about phone page you can see the developers name first you do have the uh, AOKB, AOSB updates and stuff you do have the change log right in the settings where you can see what all the change logs now the first version of AOSB is 1.2.4 and 1.2.5 is more refined version of it so yeah this one is uh, based on KitKat and it is 1.2.5 so that's pretty cool the Cyanogen mod version is um, 18 1 2014 an official version so if that matters that means it will accept all the kernels which are available for cyanogen mod so that's one of the best feature of using a cyanogen mod based rom and you do have another option called about aosb which uh, shows you the developers the contributors and uh, people who matter in the rom now uh, being a program successor this one is hands down one of the most modular feature rich a uh, cyanogen mod based rom available for Galaxy S3 that's something which I had to say and you can see the personalization first one is uh, lock screen settings so you do have the standard cyanogen mod feature so nothing special in there you do have all the toggles and it, you do have the C clock from cyanogen mod so that's pretty cool um, AOSB in black so that changes everything to black one more thing which I noticed is that if you enter the option you do have the option to for selecting when you will have that thing so it does have themes etc now in the interface setting all the magic happens the first option what you would see is active display so in the active display it is uh, pretty much same as what you would expect uh, in any other ROM so it does have a turn off display so that's the new version with the turn off display when you put it back into pocket so that's pretty cool uh, now we do have the app bar which is pretty nice if you use it you can have a bunch of apps at the side uh, at your disposal at every time i settings now i settings uh, from my experience wasn't really a stable option if you enable or disable something it does kind of uh, break the phone or break the ram a lot of times so i wouldn't suggest going into it unless you know what you're doing you do have the lcd density settings so you can select the preset or the uh, you you do have a preset value or you can have a custom value assigned so that is really great if you want to change the dpi setting for your personal preferences you can have that now there is the custom settings and you can type in the custom dpi value and um, do whatever you want now build or prop mods again build or prop mods also is kind of unstable from my experience whenever you're changing stuff it does kind of break the rom sometimes really uh, don't mess with it if you don't know what it is status bar mods that's where all the magic for the status bar appears so first of all we have battery status status style which can, which you have all these types icons now you do have the option to show the uh, battery percentage it is shown in black uh, actually there is no option to change the color of the text so yeah you do have the battery bar um, option so you can have that you can change the thickness etc even the charging animation so that's pretty cool you can enable or disable the clock feature you don't have the center clock feature which I kind of missed I normally use the center clock with AM and uh, date indicator so yeah you do have the uh, double tap the status bar to lock feature so that's pretty awesome um, you do have the network traffic indicator which will be shown in the status bar 
Now the next setting is quick setting panel which is similar to Cyanogen mod, nothing special in that. Um, you do have all the standard functions, so all these are the uh, tiles available. Lock screen notification is really an awesome feature. I really like it and it does give you a lot of stuff. Uh, it shows you guys one tab on the lock screen and you do have the pocket mod. Something which I want to warn you guys is that don't use the pocket mod with active display pocket mod. So using both of them uh, at the same time does break the active display and lock screen notification. But you can use just a not lock screen notification with the active display not pocket mod which I found to be the most productive use of this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys a demo of the uh, lock screen notification. So I just made a missed call to myself so you can see the blinking LED notification light. So I'll unlock the screen and see what it is. Now you can see there is a little tab there which shows you that uh, I got a missed call. So that is lock screen notification. You can swipe it away or just click it to enter into the dialer uh, lock screen. So that is really an awesome feature. I really like it. You can just swipe it away to have a to just uh, clear the notification and it does clear in the status bar also. That's pretty awesome feature. Uh, I really like the combination of this one with the active display which really increases the productivity. So that's pretty cool. So you do have a lot of options to take uh, f finger around with in the lock screen notification panel. So you can offset the uh, tab there. The tab was actually offset at 30 percentage you can offset it or you can just keep it at uh, the center so that also you do have the uh, extended desktop from the uh, power menu so you do have that which uh, does things notification drawer also you do have a lot of uh, options you can change the styles like the background and the background transparency you do have quick access in ribbon which you can link to the actual tiles or just change it to whatever you want that's pretty cool. You do have the option for the uh, lock screen, uh, the navigation bar, which uh, is kind of useful. Uh, I really found the use when I was using the uh, screen at the um, this one uh, at 180 degree rotation. That was pretty awesome. You do have also the navigation bar height and uh, width. Also, you can adjust, so that is pretty neat. So also, we do have halo and multi window option, which is really awesome now uh, if you enable halo you kind of lose the multi window stuff so um, I would suggest that you uh, settle for one thing or the other uh, halo does have resizable window and movable window so that is pretty awesome really uh, that does make the multitasking pretty cool now I'll show you guys the multi window option I have actually disabled halo now so that uh, I can show you guys so you can just add it to uh, this one the split view which changes the layout of the screen and ch splits into two categories where you can add two options so that is really awesome so you can see what I'm doing now is I'm changing uh, the I'm using two apps at one time it's kind of like the multi window but the only problem is you can't resize the window and uh, stuff like that but still it's pretty close resemblance to the multi window and if you want an AOSP option and uh, still want the multi option multi window option you can you have to go with this one so I guess that much is it uh, all the other options are actually similar to what you would expect from a KitKat ROM so nothing special there I'm not going to get too much into that um, these are the apps with which it comes uh, it, I haven't actually flashed the G apps and now that is something extra so uh, that's pretty cool you do have the uh, camera option to save into the SD card also so that I thought was a clever inclusion I guess Tamas X ROM has already implemented that but hey it's available in this one also so you can see the undo to benchmark score uh, well it's typical it was 18496 which is not pretty good not uh, hugely good but it's average of what I have been seeing from the ROMs uh, which are coming out lately so Nothing special, but still pretty cool. So I'll show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty epic. So here is the boot animation for the new AOS B ROM. Rather than having the all the um, signature Guru ROM uh, ROMs flashing with their logos, it is just a plain AOS B, which is pretty cool. And also one more thing: if you change the uh, 
change to dark mode all the uh, the wallpaper also changes so that was something which I uh, forgot to mention all, uh, down so that's there so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM uh, hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you want to